imagine you've published some software source code and someone else finds a mistake in it or makes an improvement and sends you back a corrected version. But then you have two versions, your own version and the new version. What have they modified? Or even worse, you may not quite be sure what version they have modified because uh, since then you've also made other modifications. Diff and patch are two tools that can help you in this situation to find out what someone else has changed or to communicate a suggested change in a way um, that only highlights the changes and therefore can also be potentially easily applied to a more recent version of the code. The uh, diff tool basically compares two files, an old file and a new file, and it has different uh, output formats. There is a basic original output format that was meant to be fed directly into the ed editor, the original Unix editor, which I don't think anyone is using anymore today. These are these slightly cryptic codes here are just add commands. Uh, a more readable version of the uh, diff output you get with minus u. This is also known as a unified diff. And there <clears throat> you can see the old file name and the new file name prefixed with three minus signs and three plus signs. And every line that has been removed from the old version of the file is prefixed with a minus sign and its replacement or any newly added line are prefixed with a plus sign. So you make the modification by removing all the lines with a minus and instead inserting all the lines with a plus. Let's have a quick practical example of how this works. I have an example file here, example.text, and uh, there is a little grammar error in there. So I now make myself a local copy, example.text I copy into example fixed.text and then I edit example fixed.text and I add a verb to this sentence and then I add a newly added line down here and with double capital Z I leave the VI editor and now I can write <coughs> diff example.text example fix.text and I get the original add version. I can also write diff minus u <coughs> and we can see here in this line the verb has has been inserted. This line has been removed and replaced by that line and an additional line has shown up. When you <coughs> review larger bits of code uh, then the plus and minus signs might not be that easy to spot. So there is an add-on tool called color diff. And if you feed the output of diff through color diff, then the removed lines appear in red and the new lines in green. If I now want to pass on the change I've made back to the original author, I can send this into a file. I redirect the output into example.patch. So I now have a so-called patch file. And if the original author um, doesn't have my file available, so for example, I delete example fixed I can and I have the original file still here I now can feed the example.patch file into uh, the patch command and it will contain the name of the file that needs to be modified and it has now patched file example.txt and we have reconstructed the uh, 
updated version here. <clears throat> so um, the diff file uh, ideally should only contain relative path names, otherwise it may be difficult for the recipient of your diff or patch file uh, to apply this. Um, however, if someone made a mistake and has absolute path names in there or just has too long uh, relative path names, for example, because they started from their home directory rather than from their working directory, there's an option minus pn to strip the first n directories from the path names that occur inside diff file. Uh, patch is quite clever. In particular, it will use the context lines, the lines that a unified diff includes in the vicinity of modified lines in order to identify where a patch needs to be applied in case uh, the patch is applied to a newer version of the file. So if the line numbers in the patch file don't quite match up anymore, then it does a search for nearby lines and uh, will then report that one of these hunks, this is what these uh, segments here of uh, context lines and replaced lines are called, has been uh, patched, but it will report the number of lines by which the patch had to be shifted around. And <clears throat> finally, there's also a diff3 tool. Uh, if you have an uh, old file and uh, I have, um, there, there's an original old file and I have made some modifications and you have made some modifications. And now we want to identify uh, how we can merge those three versions uh, back together and compare them. Uh, then the diff3 tool will do exactly uh, this and allow you to come up with a, a merged version of two different newer versions that both derive from the same original file. I won't show diff3 here in detail because similar functions, so-called merge functions, are included in many of the newer version control systems, which are higher level tools that support exactly the kind of collaborative workflow that I've just uh, pointed out, but keep track of the many intermediate files and versions that uh, appear there. So this is what we're going to look at next. <clears throat>